What's going on YouTube, it's your boy Brandon Coming to you guys with a brand new video today We're going to be talking about the first 5 things you should do When getting a Honda Civic Si I've had 3 of them in the past Almost 3 years now So I've done a little bit thing to each one differently um, But I'm going to be talking about the first 5 things I think you should definitely do When getting this car, sorry the sun's right there So I should maybe walk this way Do the first 5 things you should do when getting this car This is an amazing car, that's the reason why I got it 3 times but before this video gets started, I do want to say, if you guys are not subscribed to the channel, please subscribe. I think right now we're at we're at 1K. I'm trying to get to 2K. There is 75% of you guys that watch my videos that do not subscribe. So if that's one of you guys, hit that subscribe button and help your boy get to 2K. Because we're on the road to 2K right now. And maybe the road to 5K, 10K. And we're just going to keep going up. But anyways, we're going to be talking about the first five things you should do when getting this car. Let's jump right into it. So jumping into the car. The number one thing, the, the main thing I think you should do when you get this car, the number one thing you should do, like don't even do anything, but get a tuner. Either whether it be Hondata, K tuner, whatever one suits you. I did get Hondata. The reason why I got it was because of the price I got it for, so I couldn't pass it up. I know there is a huge debate on which one you should get, whether it be like Hondata, K tuner. I think that's pretty much it. But I mean, there's like a huge debate on which one you should get. Uh, I've talked to people who've had a couple. They say Honda is maybe better for the CVT and K Tuner is good for the manual and size. I don't know. I personally, like I said, got the Honda version. I got Honda. It was a good price. I couldn't pass it up, so I just thought, hey, you know, why not get that one? But I don't know the difference between the two, so I'm not gonna go too far into that. I do not want to get. I don't want to start a war when it comes to that. But I'm gonna say I'm Honda gang easily. That's going to be my number one thing you should get is going to be a tuner, whether it be Honda or key tuner. Um, but whatever suits you guys, make sure you guys do a lot of research before you get into it because, like I said, there is controversy between the two. I don't know the difference, but, you know, somebody somebody can, you know, educate themselves with this. And, yeah, so I got that. Uh, who cares? Jumping back out to the car, the second mod I think you should do when you get this car is easily to lower the car. I have been lowered on coils um, from all three cars, but it was all... These actually... On my second set of BCs, um, on the hatchback I had BCs, the BR set, or the BR type, and then I had the BR type on the coupe, and then now I have the extreme lows BR types on the four door. Like I said, this is the extreme lows because, you know, why not live that life? I do like I do like the low life, so I just thought, why might, might as well just get it. I gotta keep doing that, I keep vlogging this way. I just thought to myself, why not get it? I just wanted to go low. So I believe it is a six inch drop compared to a four inch on the regular BRs. And I mean, they do sit pretty low. Like that's, that. these are maxed out. So that's that's currently where I'm sitting. If you guys don't know, the SIs are like um, high in a way, but they're lower than the ninth gens were. So that's one thing to take into consideration. But I do like where the car sits now. I do want to go a little bit lower, but the only problem with that is my exhaust. So I don't know, but like literally I would lower the car whether it be coils bags springs literally anything you name it I think that's like the number one number two thing you should do when getting the car it just makes the car look a little bit better or a lot better actually everything looks good lowered do a quick walk around for you guys here and I just think I just think I just think you should lower everything man I don't know let me know what you guys to do but like I said these are BC racing coilovers and I think they're the best bang for the buck that they're at i know they are a little more expensive than other coilovers that are out right now but i think i think those are the way to go to be honest with you that i don't know that's just me i just don't want to cheap on the suspension like that um so that's why i got those third mod i think you should get should be a rear motor mount i know i say that with confidence and that's one of the things i think is really important especially when owning this car um, but what a rear motor mount essentially does is make sure that the motor doesn't move as much um, Because if you guys do have an SI and you guys do floor the car from first to second the car does kind of like I'm gonna say It feels a little jerky just because that motor is moving a little bit too much So I, I am running a Haspar 72a something I never really mentioned when I Got the car or even when I got it. I never even mentioned it. I just kind of installed it So I do have a rear motor mount. It is Haspar. I think 271 is also out. Theirs is stronger than this one. So if you guys want really, really super strong, 
271 is the way to go but i ended up going hasport at the price that i got it at couldn't pass it up but yeah like i said if you guys do have attention at si and you guys do floor from first to second you guys do know exactly what i'm talking about so that's why i feel like you should definitely get a rim one or not it just makes the car feel a lot more smoother and the, the power doesn't get cut off like that so that's that's definitely something i would recommend getting it, it's it's definitely worth it in my opinion another one that i do have to throw in there that i actually don't have on this car because it's been on back order for the past um month now but they're out now but um is an intake i've had intakes on the hatch the two door um but i don't have one on this one on the hatch i had engines short ram on the coupe i had prl's short ram and for this one i do plan to get the cobra i think personally prl is the best intake out there currently for this car um best sounding probably get the most most power out of it even though it really doesn't add any power to it just the flow airflow dynamics and the concept of it is sounds a little bit better to me i feel like that is the, the better intake for you but like i said i don't have one on this car they've been on back order since i've been trying to order it so i didn't end up getting it but that's probably going to be one of the next pods too so that's a little sneak peek on that i, I do have an intake coming you get the dope noise okay uh, you get that, that that cool noise that everybody wants in a turbo car i don't know i just think that's the best sounding one i think uh, engine has one 271 has one I know obviously PRL I don't know who else has one I feel really fucked up that I really don't know that but I think PRL is the best way to go the PRL Cobra I plan on getting the race map they do have two race map street map I do plan on getting the, the race map just because because race car bro but yeah I, um, I do plan on getting a an intake for this car soon I actually really don't have any motor mods um, like any bolt-ons really other than my exhaust which also leads me to my fifth mod, which I think you should also get. This car sounds really good. And if you guys don't know, Hondas are known for being lawnmowers. They're known for being like super high pitch and raspy and stuff like that. I am catless um, with Greddy's DDR exhaust. Wow, I don't know why I said it like that, but I do have Greddy's DDR exhaust, which sounds fucking amazing. And this car just sounds really good. Every meet I go to, every Everywhere I go, I mean, everyone says this car sounds super good, and it does. So, like I said, I am running a Catalyst downpipe front pipe with the exhaust. Let me show you guys the exhaust here. I'm sure you guys have seen it before. The big old thing. The car's a little dirty. Jesus Christ, the rear end is dirty. But as for the front pipe downpipe, I am running FKX. If you guys never seen that video, then I recommend you go see it. But I am running a 2.5 uh, downpipe front pipe and then to a three inch exhaust. I do plan to get PRL's three inch downpipe front pipe in the near future, uh, just because, you know, a little bit more airflow, a little bit more sound, but I don't know how that's gonna sound. I don't know if it's gonna be too, too much or too, too little. So that as well. But yeah, exhaust. Um, I personally think the Grady DDR is the best exhaust out there. Uh, they also have the Grady SP, the 271's exhaust. Um, HKS is exhaust. There's a lot of exhaust out there for this car. And I think the DDR is the best one that I've heard. And just in my opinion, I just think it's the best one out there. Um, but if you guys do have an exhaust and you guys think there's something better than this, let me know because maybe I can, uh, maybe we can switch it out. No, I was kidding. Even though I just got it. I do love the sound of this car. But this, like I said, this car sounds really good in the state that it's at. Like I said, I don't know. I just feel like this car sounds super dope. So yeah, that's gonna be it for my first five mods that I think you should do when getting this car. Uh, I really do love this car. It is an amazing car. I've had it for, I've had this one for I think six to seven months. I could be wrong. It might be a little bit closer to eight now. Um, I've had it for quite a while and I'm absolutely having a blast with everything I put on it. I do have some parts that are on the way that I can't say that are gonna go in the car. I'm, it's just, oh, I'm building this car at the pace that I want, which is amazing. And you guys are loving it and supporting it. And I can't thank you guys enough. Um, but the car overall looks amazing. I love it. I'm in love with it, with the feel, the, you know, I just, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I just, I just thank you guys so much for the past support that you guys have been giving me. It's been unreal. Um, like I said, if you guys are not subscribed, hit that subscribe button. Help me, help your boy get to 2K and we can help, uh, help help glow up but anyways yeah look, look at my baby you guys can't really see it she's too far but yeah just real talk just thank you guys for the support that it's been that i've been given um like i said i do have some mods on the way that i can't say i got some things on the way that i can't say the vlogs you guys have been liking the vlogs i took a break from installing and just did vlogs and you guys are loving the vlogs so thank you guys for that because 
I didn't think that you guys would like the vlogs as much and you guys are liking them as much. So thank you guys for that as well. But also, I am not gonna stop installing things on this car because I feel like this car, this car is amazing. I don't know, it could just be me. But I do love this car so much and I love you guys so much. So with that being said, I'm gonna end the video here. Give this video a fat thumbs up, okay? I want you guys to give this video a thumbs up. Smash that like button. Smash that subscribe button. Help me get to 2K. Let's see if we can do it before April. I think we can do it. I, th I think that's possible. Couple things too, I am going to Honda this year. March 28th, 2020, you guys will catch me at Honda this year. Um, I'm just gonna be going there, show the car. I'm not gonna be racing. I'll just be there hanging out with some friends. So if you guys are gonna be going there, come say what's up. I'm trying to meet some of you guys. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna be going to Tuna Revolution this year. I believe it's March 15th. I don't know if I wanna show the car yet. Only because I don't think the car deserves to be in a show just yet because it's not where I want it, but hopefully soon it'll be able to be in like a real show like that. But yeah, Honda, March 28th, catch me there. And then uh, from there, I got some other plans to do. But other than that, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Give the video a thumbs up, subscribe if you guys haven't already. And I'll see you guys next time. Dab, peace. Why do you know me so I switch posture?